Hello, this is Dr. Anthony Ferrari coming from the Ananda Apothecary Laboratory. And uh, today we wanted to bring you inside to see what we do from a day to day basis when it comes to quality control here at Ananda. Uh, what we want to do is give you guys 100% pure essential oils, and we have a really powerful technique that we do here as chemists in the lab. and. Let's just kind of go through it right now. So there's two different techniques that we use. We use GC, MS, and what that means is gas chromatography and mass spectrometry. And together, when they're coupled together, you get a really powerful, um, unknown, quantifiable um, calculator for chemicals in a complex mixture. So let's start with the GC. So what the GC is really good at is separating out chemicals in a complex mixture. So here we have frankincense. And each one of these peaks is a different chemical constituent that is in this frankincense sample that we ran. Um, the way that we get these peaks is by separating out the mixture. And to do that, we use the GC column at a different um, method that we create that has a ramping temperature. And as the temperature ramps, each one of these compounds will come out based on its boiling point and based on its interaction with the column. So heavier compounds that interact with the column more will come out later because they'll stay on the column and the lighter, more volatile chemicals that don't interact with the column will come out first. Um, so that's great. We have a nice separation and we have an exact separation here. And you can see some of these peaks are really close to each other. And that's because we've developed our method so that we get you know, efficient timing. We wouldn't want to run this all day. But what we do have is perfect separation. So if it's separated, then we can use the second technique, which is the MS, the mass spectrometer. This guy goes in and bombards the GC separate chemical and will fragment it in a nice fingerprint array here. And based on its mass, you will get different peaks based on how likely it is for that mass to show up after it's been bombarded with electrons. Um, the cool thing about this is that it's reproducible. It's regular. It happens every time because of chemical um, properties and, and stability factors. But basically, think of it like this. You have thousands of linalool molecules hitting the mass spec at once you're going to get a good st statistical average of what that fragmentation will look like. So here, what we have is we couple it to this library that's uh, a very large amount of data in the library to verify that this is indeed how linalool will fragment when it hits a mass spec. So this can help us identify the molecule, but what we do at Ananda is give you pure essential oils. So we've collaborated with scientists all over the world to figure out good standards for the specific, specific essential oils. So it's, it's not enough for us to know that linalool is in your lavender. We want to know, is it within the range that's acceptable for a pure lavender sample from that region from that year? So we've created a nice, robust um, collaboration network across the world that helps us give you guys the exact essential oil chemical makeup that you want or that is definitely pure. Um, so what we're going to do now is take you through just what a sample preparation will look like and, and kind of how the run goes and we'll just kind of show you the inside of the instrument so you can know a little bit more about our analysis technique. And here we are just going through a normal GC sample preparation that we do. So this is our lavender from Bulgaria. Um, and, and with the GCMS, the other great part about it is that you need a very, very small amount of your sample. So all we need is one drop to go into our GC vial here. So I'm going to pull from the lavender. And we're just going to use one drop here in our GC vial. And with that, we're going to dilute the rest of this up to the top um, with our solvent. So here we're just going to dilute this vial up with our solvent. And you just want to agitate the sample after that. A little bit of shaking. 
Um, it's not as needed in, a, in something like lavender, but if you're having a more um, CO2 extracty, you might get some particles in there, so you just want that to be completely dissolved in the solvent. So now we're going to dilute it further. So we, we took one drop, and now we're going to add seven drops to this vial to dilute it even further in our solvent after. One, So with that, this vial is done, and we have our second vial that we're going to dilute again in acetone. So just filling this juicy vial to the top, and agitate the sample again. This will go into our auto sampler up top here. We'll start this run. We always do an acetone wash first through the column, so it's going to probably grab that peak first. But while we're up here, I'd like to just open up the GC so that you can see what this oven actually does. So inside here, this is the column. And this is the oven that will ramp up in temperature. But you can see that what happens is the sample will come in down here and wrap around that column. As, and as the temperature goes up, it'll get further and further and further along this capillary to the column. And then this is where it enters the, the MS interface here. So after it's gone through that, where it's, it's interacting with the column and the temperature is coming up, it will then leave the column and then enter the mass spec down over on this end. Um, and, and that's really the power of the, of the GC is interacting with our sample over and over again as it wraps around that column. Um, so with that, what we're going to get is the auto sampler is going to grab the sample in a second. It's going to run our um, we're going to run our ramp temperature on our method, and we're going to get our output sample in about an hour and 20 minutes. And then we can start doing our analysis, and then giving you guys all the information based on the lot number right on the website, right next to the product for every single essential oil that we can run in our GC safely. To find a C of A on our website, navigate to the Essential Oil page, drop down underneath the words Download C of A and find the corresponding lot number to your oil. Click on the download at the bottom of your browser. At the top of the certificate, you'll see the chemicals with their percentages in the oil and a bunch of other numerical values such as specific gravity and viscosity to name a few. And down below you'll see the spectra that we saw earlier. Uh, of every single chemical that's inside of your oil.